This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and about four months ago, in video 1409, I showed you what I still believe is the most significant security flaw in North America. It's a bypass for these mechanisms, which are found in the vast majority of glass storefront doors. Now, this is not new. It's something that security professionals have known about for at least 20 years, and I used to offer the most common tool for the exploit over on CovertInstruments.com. It's just a steel rod with hooks welded on either end. Unfortunately, our supplier wasn't as reliable as we hoped, so we decided to use the opportunity to fix what we saw as a flaw. You see, I broke more of these tools carrying them than I did using them, and that's because these hooks that stick out tend to be somewhat fragile. So, on the new version, we made those hooks fold down. That means they are protected. You can stick this in your pocket or even in a pick case. You will break less of them, and you're also more likely to have it when you need it. So, let me show you the tool in action. You insert the hook in between the door and the frame. If there's not enough room there, what you can do is just use a small pry bar like this one. We also sell them over on Covert Instruments. You slide that hook right along the side of the bolt and wrap it around the back of this rod. You then pull down and it pops right open. Let's do that one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. Now we can move over to the swing bolt version, which I have set up so the door opens the opposite direction. So I'm gonna use the other hook. Now that was pretty easy, but one word of caution. If used incorrectly, it is equally easy to damage the tool. So if you do get one of these, be sure to view the instructional video on the website. Now, it just so happens that one of these locks is on the office door of Covert Instruments' old landlord. So when discussing what we do, he asked how secure his office was. I'll let you be the judge of that. You can see we really don't have enough room to get that tool into position. So I'm going to take a small pry bar and just place it in between the door and the frame. And with a little bit of force, we've created a ton of room there. I can now slide that tool into position. And we got that open. Okay, folks, as you can see, this is a really effective tool, and it's something that I consider a must-have for any locksmith, first responder, or entry specialist. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.